So it's happy at 20. It's struggling a bit. Whoa. It was going <laughs> to... It was so close to that van. Take it down even lower. Yes, I will, because it wasn't going to make that. It's too fast. So it's, it got stuck because there were no lines here. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. This is a car doing this. <laughs> That's amazing. Love. So in this video I'm going to take you on some B roads in the UK and a few small towns stroke villages to see how autopilot and full self-driving works. This is a follow-up from the video I did yesterday which is the first in a new series about autopilot and full self-driving. So if you haven't seen that one I'll put a link to that up there. Um, I've made a few changes to the camera positions because when I came to edit the video I wasn't particularly happy with the camera positions. You couldn't see enough of the road ahead but I also wanted to make sure you could see the screen and the steering wheel. I've now got two cameras, one set by my uh, right hand ear on the driver's window pointing forward which hopefully will give you a good view of the steering wheel and the road and the screen and then the one above me on the glass roof which again is looking forward through the windscreen as well as looking at the screen and steering wheel. Uh, we are going to head down the road called the uh, B645 which is we're currently in Rushton and I'm going to put in St Neots because that's probably as close as we need to be. Hopefully that will, yes it does take us the route we want to go. Um, so we're going through some really nice, fast B roads, great biker roads these are that we're going to come across. Um, I'm not going to speed along, I just want to see what autopilot and full self-driving does on its own. Um, it's a Monday, it's sort of sunny, um, 8 degrees, it's, the roads are quite wet still. Just wait for cars to pass. The roads are quite wet still because we've had a lot of rain overnight. Um, so that will be interesting on the cameras because when we drive into a, the sun, sort of contre jour style, uh, we will get a lot of glare off the roads. It'll be quite tricky to see. So I'm interested to see how the cameras deal with that glare from the roads because it's tricky enough to see as a human, <laughs> let alone a, a camera which can't really adjust its iris um, as we can. So this is the 645, I'm just doing gauge autopilot. If you're not familiar with autopilot and full self-driving, this little symbol on the screen here, when it's blue, indicates that um, autopilot and full self-driving are on. I've got to keep my hands on the wheel, um, but there will be a very light touch. I will let you know when I take control or um, the autopilot turns off. So at the moment, we did, I'm dialed it down to about 48, which seems an odd number <laughs> speed-wise, 48 miles per hour. Uh, it's a 60 along here. Um, I do know the road very well, so you could easily do 60. But uh, I shall keep it a bit slower. We've got some road works up here, so um, let's see how we get on with those. Hopefully, we're going to slow down in a minute. Yes. So, car's braking hard, it's seen the car ahead. Uh, we're coming to a stop through the puddles. One thing I have noticed um, yesterday when we were doing a video on um, full self-driving is how um, sort of committed the car is to staying in the middle of the road. It doesn't like being to one side or the other. It's obviously programmed into its software that it needs to be in the middle of the road. So it fulfills that um, to the, the eighth degree. Um, so autopilot has just gone off because we're transversing the to the other side of the road in these roadworks. The cruise control is still on. So, um, 
group, which it has trouble with crossing back lanes because it thought that that car was <laughs> head on in front of us. Oh my god, oh my god. So let's put FSD back on again. I'm going to term it as FSD because saying full self driving each time is a bit of a mouthful. So we're on autopilot anyway as we're navigating to St. Neots, so that's a given. And then FSD is when I put two downward pulls on the lever, and if I need to turn it off, I'll push it up one. We're coming into a 30 here, which no one actually does 30 through here, but I will, A, because I'm on camera, and because I'm a good boy. And there's some very tight turns here, so it'll be interesting to see how it does um, these. Yeah, I'm not doing anything, this is a car doing this. <laughs> That's amazing, I love it. And there's even tighter turns up here, so I'm going to dial it down to 25. This is a, a big S bend here. And I wanted to bring it this way just to see how it dealt with these. So let's just take it down. So I'm turning it down on the thumb wheel here, on the steering wheel on the right hand side, so I can adjust the speed here. Oh, let's see. It's it got stuck because there were no lines here. Let's put it back on again. Oh, auto steer currently unavailable, but we're still on cruise. Yeah, so we're back on again on FSD. The um, full self-driving kicked off there because uh, basically there were no lines in the road and it's going, oh, where am I, where am I? And was heading off the, um, to the middle of the road. <laughs> so again we're into a 60, the car doesn't recognise the speeds at the moment, the speed changes, so I'm having to do it manually on this thumb wheel. Two round these at 50 odd, 52. These are nice sweeping bends. This is um, a very uh, popular road, especially in the summer with the bikers. Um, they do tear along here at uh, quite a lick. And it's a good cross-country route for commuters as well. So it is a, a fast, busy road, which is what I thought I'd bring you along. It's got some nice curves and bends in it as well. Plus we've got some little villages and towns to head through as well, so a bit of variety. Got a fairly tight bend coming up here. Cars slow down just a bit. Just to 51, to 52. I'm the typical Sunday driver at the moment. Although we're keeping up with the cars ahead, they're probably just doing 55, so I'm not that far off the pace. You may notice up here uh, on the screen, every now and again, you get a black bar come across, which will have some kind of warning to it. So I'll, if those come up, I'll read those out to you. The one we just had was keep your hands on the wheel, basically. So with full self-driving, this car's going to overtake us. You should see that. There we go. With uh, full self-driving, you have to keep your hands on the wheel, which obviously makes sense, and uh, the car checks so periodically, uh, quite frequently actually, um, and there it is, come again. And if you don't keep your hands on the wheel, the warning at the top goes blue. If you still don't put your hands on the wheel, the steering wheel symbol comes up and turns red, and eventually your full self-driving will turn off and you'll slow down and come to a halt. <laughs> Which I haven't tried yet, but so I'll do a video on that. We're coming into a 40 here, so I'm just going to dial this down. It's currently saying 60 here. Has it picked up the 40? Yeah, it's picked up the 40. No, but it wouldn't adjust the car's speed. It would... Um, They really need to be at 40 in the 40 rather than right on the nose as it were. What tends to happen here is that it picks up the 
the speed uh, indicated by the road sign. Braking here. Okay, braking, braking. Down to 35. It's a little bit slow. Yeah, although I'm set to 40, so I'm just going to push that back up again to where we were before. There is damn it. Big kite in the middle of the road, just hovering above. Don't know if the camera will pick that up. Whoa! Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Jeez. There's a lot of them around here. Um, yeah, tight bend at the end here. It says maximum speed 40, which is about right, actually. So I'm just going to dial it down, or even though the car is slowing down more than I am. I've st well, I'm still at 51, actually, and it's dropped down to 30. Might be a little bit slow car, but it's doing it. 28, 29. There is no one behind me, you'll be pleased to know. So it's done it fine. Um, it's a sharp 90 degree bend. Um, you can take it at 40, it's a bit of a lick. There's a, a drop away bend here, which is doing fine, and then it flicks back the other way. We're doing 40, so we're a bit timid, but still fine. The speed set to be 50. No, we're not quite there, it's now just creeping back. There looks like an accident in the road here. Not quite sure how they managed that. Which is a bit unfortunate on the top of a blind hill. Some more nice bends coming up in a bit. So it's a nice mixture of straights and hard bends. You can see why the, the bikers love this road. And all I'm doing is just tweaking the wheel. So the road's getting quite, uh, it's quite wet here. Car's braking, break down to 40, 37, 36. Might be a bit slow for this corner. Um, 30, Let's see how it does. The other car's caught me up now. Auto steer limited, it's saying. Just accelerate. There's a, an EU rule. Um, Regulation 79. I'm just going to pull over just so this car can come past me. I'll just knock off everything. There you go. Um, yeah, there's an EU regulation, Regulation 79, which limits what autonomous vehicles can do. And there are restrictions around maximum speed. So the maximum speed is 93 miles an hour. Um, which is fine by me, I don't think I'll be doing that. One of the other ones is um, limiting the steering. So uh, the, there's a formula that they provide, which basically means if, i have to turn it down in speed here, because we're into a 30. Um, if you're doing a tight turn, it will stop and drop out of auto steer, which is a bit um, worrying really if you're in the middle of a turn and relying on it to actually get you around the corner, it just falls out. And um, so effectively you can't do really um, hard turns with a steering wheel. Uh, they are limited in the EU, which obviously we're part of in the UK. It also, when you're wanting to change lanes, so if you're initiating a, a lane change, it has to be initiated by the driver, which means using the indicator. And then the car has to complete that manoeuvre um, within five seconds of the initiation, which means that it, in terms of completing the manoeuvre, it's termed as 50% of the way across to the other carriage while you're in that five seconds. So that was um, sweet through there, some bends, all nice taken at 30. Oh. This is Kim Bolton, which has a very posh private school in it. And a, a nightmare of a turn, actually, I forgot about this one. It's a 90 degree turn, which I'm sure auto steer is not going to, to navigate and manage, so I'll be ready to take over. Um, a bit like on yesterday's video, when I drove through Olney, um, the same type of parking exists in Kimbolton, so people park nose in um, parking rather than parallel parking, 
which makes it a little bit more interesting. There's um, a few bends coming up now, so I'm just going to dial our speed down because it, they're 90 degree bends. There's one here just in front of the church. And I might even take it down even lower. Yes, I will, because it wasn't going to make that. It's too fast. Oh, it doesn't like that. Blind spot temporarily, so auto steer temporary unavailable, it's saying here. Back on now, put it back on. I'm going to stay at 25 through here. I do have a car behind me, but that's fine. It's struggling a bit. Whoa. It was going <laughs> to, it was so close to that van. Oh, the back of that silver car oh, that I turned it off. Um, because you got through the first one okay, absolutely fine. Um, but I did think it was chancing its arm at not clipping the back of the the other one. So let's see what... No, it doesn't like that. Well, you've failed in Kimbolton, but hardly surprising really, because it's a big of a turning. Um, so currently not available with full self-driving. Uh, mainly because there are no road markings, so the car is not actually sure where we are. <laughs> it doesn't like putting on FSD auto steer on a bend. So I'm just tootling through here because A hey, it's 30 mile an hour anyway. And it's quite narrow, but it's doing it fine. Doing 29. It's 30 through here. It's fairly narrow and uh, quite uh, bendy, windy, whatever you'd like to call it. But yeah, that's, we're doing okay. As you can see, my sort of interaction is very limited on the car. It's just now and again where it either it doesn't have any road markings or the turn is too severe for the limitations on um, the driving radius that the steering wheel is allowed to move um, that we do anything about it. And then we're into another little village which is has a very interesting chicane in and out of it to slow the traffic down so <laughs> that will be very interesting see how it does with that. I'm just going to slow us down manually to 30. I don't think this is going to manage this at all. I'm holding the wheel just in case. Oh, it has. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I did not expect it to do that. Into bright sunny roads and a car on our side of the road. Thank you very much. Getting on your own side. Oh, you were missing the puddle and the pedestrian. I see what you were doing. I let you off. Thoughtful driver. So it's 30 again through here. There's a 90 degree uh, left hand bend at the end here, which I suspect we will struggle with, especially as we have right. Oh, it's going way too quickly for that. <laughs> it wasn't slowing down at all, so um, I just broke because there was no way that it was going to get around that corner um, on our side of the road. So I uh, took charge of that. That's like control and charge, charge. There's another one of the chicanes in a minute, uh, exiting this little uh, village. We'll see how it does with that. It comes in from the left. I'm sure it'll have an epi because the lines are all over the place. Yep, thought it would. Interesting, it does as the first one, but not the second one. It's because there's an S shape on the lines. So um, it uh, was not, uh, not happy at all with that. What are you doing with the lines? Saying, so please keep your hands on the wheel. So that's just a notification that you always get when you put it into FSD. Oh, look at that, bright roads. 
Now I can't, well I can just about make out the road markings. Um, uh, the car seems to be doing okay. I guess it is a bit of a straight road, so not too difficult. Got parked cars on our right hand side coming up here. And there's a car coming the other way. And they tend to hug over. I'm just going to drop it out there. They tend to put their wheel over the, the white line to straddle the white line so they can get past without knocking all the mirrors off the cars, understandably, uh, because autopilot self-drive will want to place us in the middle of the lane. It's not really ideal when you've got cars coming the other way who are on your side of the road. So going around there nicely. I'm just going to slow this down. So we're coming into a 30 and we're coming into that chicane which a car coming the other way, or a van coming the other way, will always be very interesting. I'm going to really slow this down to 20 to see how this does. I think it won't do it. No, would have clipped the curb. So, uh, well, it may have been very, very, very close to the curb. This is 30 mile an hour through here. We're doing 27. There's a tight bend at the end here, a 90 degree right hand bend. And there's a car indicating, oh, he's just got to say there's a car indicating to, to turn. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and it's crashed out. It's going, no, oh, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that. Uh, it's funny because it, um, I can't remember if it did it on the way, on the other direction. I'll have to have a look at the footage. I don't think it did. I'm sure, no, I'm sure it did. It died on the, on the other way. There's another. Not quite so sharp bend coming up. We have a filter off to the right. Let me see if that's happy with that. Yeah, it seems to be okay with that. And then there's again marvellous. Whoa, yeah, dropped out again. So I did it on the way in but it's not having any of it on the way out. And again, braking there, just a dab. Coming into a 30 in a second. So I'm going to slow this down. And annoyingly, I've got a truck behind me. So it may catch us up before we get to the bit that we want to do. In fact, he will, because he is speeding like Billio. So this is 30 through here. Truck is definitely not wanting to do 30. Uh, let's see how we get on. I'm just going to turn this down a bit to slower. So it's happy at 20. Whoa. <laughs> no, until it gets to there. And basically it's a case of no road markings. So that's why it's not happy. There's a roadworks just around the corner here as well, I seem to recall. And then there's a, oh, a nice sharp bend at the top here. Still in the 30. It doesn't drop out of 30 till we get around the corner here. Oh, you don't like that, do you? So it's just dropped off. It um, dabbed the brakes halfway through the bend there. Um, but it was successfully navigating the, the corner okay and um, then decided uh, to drop off auto steer for some reason. Put you back on again, sort of speed you up. So we're doing 40 and then we can do 50 through here quite easily. Just trying to remember where the road works. Well, we're along here, we're along here somewhere. Ah, oh, here they are. Now, if we're first at these roadworks, oh, we're not. So I'm uh, just going to slow the car down because it doesn't appear to be wanting to slow down itself. Uh, 
I was just going to say, if we're the first at the roadworks, I would have to stop it myself because the car, and the full self-driving at the moment, doesn't recognise uh, traffic lights, red lights. Which means you would sail through merrily until you met traffic coming the other way. So I'm not going to engage um, FSD here, because we've got to go over the other side of the road. No, it's pointless, it'll just shut off immediately. Wait till we're out of the roadworks. Which indeed we are here, so it should be okay here. The lorry in front is having a little bit of struggle with the reduced width. Well, a very successful outing with um, the, the auto steer and full self-driving. One or two little areas that it couldn't do, which were mainly, from recollection, is two, two acute bends for it to be able to steer at the speed that I'd chosen, or it had chosen, one or the other, and a couple of areas where there were no road markings. But apart from that, a very good performance. So, as always, please like and share. Um, drop comments below. What were your thoughts? Was the camera position better than the previous one? If you'd seen both, um, do let me know how things are going. Uh, should I do more of these? What type of thing? What do you want to see? blah de blah de blah yada yada yada, yada all that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to turn left. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. All right, take care.